Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. In this video I'm going to explain what gravity is and how we can calculate with it. A basic rule in physics is that masses attract each other. So for instance if we have this guy looking at his phone and next to him we have some books, then they both have mass and they both attract each other. So the books are attracted to the guy and the guy is attracted to the books. Now these forces are so weak that we cannot uh, measure them, we don't notice them. So um, if the masses are very small like these, then, then the forces are just too weak to notice them. Um, we do notice them when the mass becomes really, really heavy. For instance, the Earth. The Earth is so heavy that we do notice the uh, attraction uh, from the Earth, which is uh, attracting us downwards. So these books are attracted down to, uh, to the center of the Earth, and so are we. Uh, this is called the gravitational uh, force which is because of the Earth being so heavy. To calculate the force of gravity, we need this equation. Uh, Fg uh, equals m times g. Fg is the force of gravity, and it's calculated in newtons. So the uh, unit is newtons, uh, the capital N. m, also the mass of the objects, is in kilograms. So the unit is uh, kg, kilograms. And we have g. g is the acceleration due to gravity. And on Earth, this is a number, which is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, or 9.8 meters per second square. Uh, usually one of these two is used. You have to look in your own book which one you use. And uh, 9.8 is a constant here on Earth. And this g, this acceleration due to gravity, uh, has to do with the mass of the Earth. So if we are on the Moon, or if we are on Mars, then this one changes, so this one changes, so the gravitational force changes. Um, be aware, weight is something else than mass. So Fg, the force of gravity, uh, is the same as weight, and weight is not the same as mass, and we will come to that later on in the video. So if we look at the Earth, and the Moon and the Mars, then the FG of the, the G's, the acceleration is different. And you can see them here. So uh, I have a few objects here. So the Moon, Mars, Earth, Jupiter and the Sun. And you can see that the G changes. Uh, Earth, 9.81. Uh, it differs a bit where you are on Earth. Uh, so we use 9.8. But if you're on Mars, Mars is a lot lighter than Earth. So the acceleration due to gravity is also a lot uh, less. So on Mars, it's only 3.71, and on the Moon, 1.62. But if you go to Jupiter or the Sun, they're both a lot heavier, so the gravitational force, the acceleration due to gravity, becomes a lot higher, uh, and it's harder to uh, do stuff there. It costs you more force. Uh, we will come uh, to that later on in the video. The Moon has a much lower gravitational force than the Earth, uh, but we do notice it here on Earth. Uh, like you know, the Moon is uh, orbiting around the Earth, and when it does it, it does pull uh, something from the Earth to the Moon, and it's the water. So the Moon attracts water. Uh, in this case, the Moon is uh, here, so it means that there is the high tide, and here is the low tide. So all the water, no, not all the water, but a lot of water is being attracted to the Moon and is now here, so we uh, experience a high tide. When the Moon orbits, the high tide follows the Moon, and it looks like this. So when the Moon orbits the Earth, the high tide is following the Earth, so all the water is following uh, the Moon, I'm sorry, uh, and that's why we have high tide and low tide, and that's due to the gravitational force of the Moon. Here we have the same guy standing on Earth and standing on the Moon. And we know he's the same because his mass is the same, both uh, in instances he's 80 kilograms. But his gravitational force will be different, and we will calculate now to see how big uh, it will be. First we will do the Moon. Uh, we use this equation, Fg is m times g. Uh, the m is given, it's 80 kilograms. Uh, g is given because it's in the Moon, and we see here that the Moon has 1.62, so we have 1.62. Uh, and we can uh, um, enter this into the equation, so we get Fg is 80 times 1.62 and it equals 130 newtons. So his gravitational force here is 130 newtons. Now he's standing on Earth, and on Earth he has a different gravitational force. So now his mass is still 80 kilograms, because that's the same. Uh, g, which uh, we have to uh, get from uh, here, is now 9.81, or 9.8. And now we get 80 times 9.8 equals 784 newtons. So you can see, although his mass is uh, are the same on both places, his gravitational force, or weight, is different. So here it will cost him more force to stand up than here on the Moon, and that has to do with the mass of the body where he is standing on. Um, here, he is in space, so he's not standing on any body, uh, so his mass is still 80 kilograms, because that doesn't change, and you would 
be willing to say that his force or his weight is zero uh, newton and that's not the case it doesn't matter where you are uh, on in a uh, in space there's always a little bit of gravitational force so this could be for instance uh, 10 newtons which is really low but it's still present so now the difference between mass and weight as you can see here he is standing uh, on three different places and his mass is always the same so we have mass and we have weight and mass is always the same and it doesn't matter where you are if you are 80 kilograms uh, on the moon then you are 80 kilograms on earth or in space it doesn't matter the weight on the other end it's different the difference uh, depending on the place where you are because the weight is a product of your mass times the gravitational acceleration which is different because we have a very small body here a very heavy body here and there is no planet here but still there is a little bit of weight so mass and weight are really different things uh, also the unit of mass is kilogram and the unit of weight is newton so those are also different and finally mass is a scalar that means that mass does not have a direction you cannot say that uh, we, we have a mass going left or going right uh, it's, so it's a scalar weight is a factor so a weight does have a direction you can have uh, a weight the force left or force right i will uh, go more in depth uh, with this in another video now an exercise you can try now for yourself if you understand uh, we have josh uh, he has a weight of 637 newtons on earth so see on earth uh, and the question is, what is his mass and what is his weight on Mars? So try to find out if you can calculate these so you know that you understand the equation. Now, first we are going to calculate his mass. Uh, we use uh, the information of on Earth because that's where we start. And we know that his gravitational force is 637 newtons because that's what's given. And we know that the gravitational pull, so the acceleration due to gravity, is 9.8 eight because that's also given and we need to calculate his mass so we need to know the m well we know that this is the equation but m here is in the middle so we have to rebuild it well if you find it hard you can see uh, you can also compare this to the one here so six is two times three uh, it has the same build as the one here above we need to know the m the m here is the two so how do you get two if you have six and three indeed you divide six by three so you divide fg by g and that looks like this so now you know your equation now you can enter your data into it so 637 divided by 9.8 and that is 65 kilograms so now we know his mass his mass on earth is 65 kilograms and if you were paying attention you also know now his mass on mars because that's also 65 kilograms but there's a different uh, gravitation acceleration due to gravity so his weight will be different and that's can that's the next thing we can calculate so we know his mass we know uh, the acceleration due to gravity sometimes also called the gravitational constant and we have to calculate his weight or his uh, force or due to gravity well that's uh, mass times g so we can enter uh, our data into the equation 65 times 3.7 and that's 240.5 newtons and you can see that's a lot less than on earth on earth it was 637 and that has to do because due to the mass of mars you can lift a weight of 343 newtons what's the maximum mass you can lift on earth and what's the maximum mass you can lift on the moon uh, first try this for yourself to see if you get the equation and if you get how to do this uh, i will now give you the answer uh, this is the one we will use the fg is m times uh, g and we know the g's uh, and we know the f and the m is the one we need to calculate so we know the fg on earth 343 newtons because that's given here we know that uh, the g on earth is 9.8 that's given here and we have to calculate the mass again we have to rebuild this uh, equation i uh, use the 6 is 2 times 3 again so we need the m we need 2 and 6 and 3 so we divide 6 by 3 of the, or we divide fg by g it looks like this we write this down uh, we enter our information into it so 343 divided by 9.8 and we know that it's 35 kilograms because the mass is always in kilograms don't forget to put the unit after the number so on earth you can lift 335 kilograms now let's see what you can lift on the moon on the moon the fg is the same because you still uh, can lift the same amount of weight uh, the g is different because now it's 1.6 uh, we use the same equation 
so uh, fg divided by g 343 divided by 1.6 and the answer is 214 kilograms so that's, it, that's the mass you can actually lift when you are on the moon with the same force so you do not get stronger the effect of your uh, strength is just greater because there is a lower gravity so on the moon you can lift uh, heavier objects that's it i hope this video was helpful uh, if so please like uh, so that i know that i helped you and of course subscribe for more videos thanks for watching